a healthy living giveaway. 12 weeks, one goal, be healthy. Hello, Fintopians, and welcome to week four of the Fintopia Healthy Living Challenge. All right. Last week, we added 10% to our workout. Well, that was the challenge. I don't know if I did it. I, uh, Although I did, let's see here. Let's see if I can remember what I did this week. I went for wind sprints. I did some wind sprints. I went to the park, did a little bit of upper body workout, and I did wind sprints. I did 10 100-yard sprints. And uh, Thursday, I played basketball, which was fun. And uh, I hadn't played basketball in a long time, but a friend invited me, and I said, you know, I was actually pretty tired, and I had a lot to do, but I said, I need to do this. I just need to go. And, uh, you know, I can make time for it. So I went, and I had fun, and I'm going again. I know I'm, I, you know, these guys, friends of mine, they get together once or twice a week. Um, and they, you know, in the evening, usually around 8.30 or 9 o'clock, and they just play for about an hour or so, an hour and a half, and just a, a bunch of pickup games. And I get soaked in sweat, and I have fun, and I, I'm around other people, and it's a, it's a good time. So that is what I did, and then today I went I went on a camp out last night and uh, Saturday morning. Today woke up and uh, went on a hike. Took a five mile hike, two two and a half miles out and two and a half miles back, and I kept up a pretty pretty good pace, uh, and uh, that felt good. Although I'm kind of getting a little bit of a blister on the heel of my foot right now. But I'm interested to know how the week went for you. If you tried the challenge, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you know if it helped, please let me know. I know a couple. I know Danny uh, D King said that he was gonna add more in this week. Tell me what you did, whether you liked it, whether it helped, and do it again this week. This week, add another ten percent. So just kind of every challenge I've done up until now is always, you know, repeat, rinse and repeat. Keep keeping a food journal if it's helping. And uh, what was the second challenge? The second challenge was to define your limiting beliefs. So what's holding you back? And really address those and, and go after changing those beliefs and replacing them with new ones. Keep upping your every week. Just up the intensity, the duration, whatever fits in your schedule, whatever fits in what you want to accomplish. Increase the amount of physical activity that you're doing. And sometimes it can be as little as increase the physical activity in your day-to-day, -day, okay? So when you're folding laundry, maybe fold the laundry faster. Or when you're sweeping, you're just your regular chores or mowing the lawn, whatever it is that you're doing, I guess most people are shoveling snow. If you're shoveling snow, put a little more umph into it, okay? And uh, try and make a workout out of it. There's no reason why we can't be getting in shape while we're doing chores. The week four challenge now is to have fun. I want you in your physical activity that you do this week to try to have fun, okay? So it could be whatever you're normally doing. You're, maybe you have a set plan of you're going to be going running three days or you're going to the gym these days or whatever your workout schedule is. You're doing exercise videos. Do it with a positive attitude and try to make it fun. And a good way to do this is to do it with somebody else. So playing basketball for me is fun because you're there, you're laughing, you're having a good time, you're, you know, joking around the whole time and it's it's not a serious game although sometimes it can get serious but we just play pickup games and it's a fun time another thing you can do is look for activities that you know you enjoy if you enjoy dancing go dance if you enjoy a certain sport like basketball go play that sport now if you don't think that the opportunity is right for that, maybe weather doesn't permit for you to go play football or baseball or whatever it is, try something new that you think might be fun. It could be go take a dance class. It could be geocaching. So it's actually a form of hiking. It's actually making fi hiking fun. So, And I did it actually on a jog. But I took my GPS with me and put in some geocaches that were hidden a long way. If you don't know what geocaching is, it's just go to go to geocaching.com. So on the jogging path that I normally go on, I looked it up on that site and there were three or four geocaches hidden along that trail. So I took my GPS with me, went on my jog, and along the way found 
I think three or four geocaches, and so it was kind of fun. I, I for one, got a break in between, in, in you know, in the middle of my jog, and stopped and walked around looking for a geocache, and then uh, it was kind of fun trying to find them. As an extra challenge, and this will only help you in our giveaway, I want you to record a video of yourself having fun while you're exercising. Okay, and this isn't. You don't have to be, you know, sometimes I'm saying this is like you're in this challenge. This isn't like a, an official challenge. This is, if you're watching this video, you are in the challenge. I challenge anybody who sees this video to do what I'm telling you to do this week. And uh, you're automatically qualified to be in the challenge. Okay? You don't have to create an account on the site. You don't have to, you know, participate and say, I'm in the challenge and tell us anything about yourselves. Just respond to this video in some way and uh, you know get involved so your challenge this week if you choose to go do something fun when you exercise record it and do a video reply to this and in my next video after that I will try to in incorporate those videos and uh, spotlight you and I, I honestly do want to see what kind of activities you guys are doing and how you're enjoying it because you know what that does it encourages me it gives me ideas of how I can enjoy exercise and everybody else who's going to watch it because I'm going to put it on here, it will uplift and encourage them. Don't fail me here, people. I want to get at least a couple people responding. So I know there's not a ton of viewers and not a ton of people who are really participating. But so that means those of you who are watching this, just know that it's counting on you. You need to do this. And uh, and it'll only help you, and it'll help us. And uh, I really do want to see it. If you hadn't have a had a chance to watch the interview I did last week, it's with this guy named Greg McBride, and he is the author of Just Stop Eating So Much. And he tells about his journey of losing over 250 pounds. When he was 21, he was over 450 pounds and decided he needed to change after he had tried so many diets and cheated on so many diets and lost and gained and lost and gained like most of us know about he decided that enough was enough and he needed to really take it serious okay and all of us need to finally get to that point it's only gonna happen when we really decide that we're gonna take ourselves seriously so it's good to hear when somebody does that and he kept it off ten years later and it's still off he's still 175 pounds and doing great so good luck this week. Don't forget, make it fun, record a video, reply to this, uh, leave comments. Even if you don't record a video, leave a comment and letting us know what you did that was fun or what you plan to do that was fun or that you plan to do. Uh, let me know. Give me some feedback if you like these challenges. If you have any suggestions for a challenge, I'm open to them. I'm going to run out of ideas here pretty soon. Keep doing the challenges. Keep, uh, keep working at it, and uh, I'd love to hear from you.